topic that we will be dealing with the Ohm's law, as you have seen, the apparatus has been set up. Ohm's law states that the current flowing to a conductor will be directly proportional to the potential difference applied across the ends of the conductor, provided the temperature remains constant. So you can see that I is proportional to V, V is proportional to I, so V is equal to a constant into I and therefore the constant here is noted as capital R which can represent the resistance of a resistor. So you call the equation V is equal to R into I. Therefore R is equal to V by I where R can be measured in ohms. So you see that the SI unit of resistance is ohms. Today we will be dealing with Ohm's law. Our aim will be to predict the dependence of voltage with current and investigate Ohm's law. The apparatus required for Ohm's law experiment is an ammeter, a voltmeter, resistor wire, connection wires, plug key, battery eliminator, a rheostat.
to the positive of the emitter the negative of the emitter is connected to the positive of the voltmeter the negative of the voltmeter is connected to the negative of the battery eliminator the positive of the battery eliminator is connected to one end of the plug key the other end of the plug key is connected to the lower end of the rheostat and the resistance wire that is the resistor is connected in the circuit and the voltmeter is connected in parallel to the circuit and the ammeter is connected in series in the circuit. Power the battery eliminator, switch on the plug key and check whether the circuit works by moving the slider of the rheostat. So by moving the slider of the rheostat you can to and fro you can observe that there is a deflection both in the ammeter and the voltmeter going in the same direction so you can see the voltmeter and the ammeter shows the deflection in the same side so once you observe that the deflection occurs in the same side you can ensure that your connections are quite fine and okay Power on the battery eliminator, set the slider to the least position. By moving the slider, observe the corresponding ammeter and the voltmeter reading. The ammeter reading is set to 0.2 ampere and the voltmeter reading shows 0.2 volt. Move the slider, set the ammeter reading to 0.4 ampere, the voltmeter reading shows 0.4 volt. Now set the ammeter reading by moving the slider to 0.6 ampere, correspondingly check the voltmeter reading, you get 0.6 volt. Move the slider, set the ammeter reading to 0.8, in the voltmeter reading you can observe it is 0.8 volt. Move the slider, set the ammeter reading to 1 ampere. Now you can see the voltmeter reading also shows exactly 1 volt. Let us plot the relevant graph for this one. To find out the resistance, we have to plot I in amperes in the x axis and V in volts in the y axis. Ammeter reading was 0 0.2 amperes and the corresponding voltmeter reading was 0.2 volt as per our observation 0.4 ampere and 0.4 volt 0.6 ampere and 0.6 volt 0.8 ampere 0.8 volt the last reading was for 1 ampere the corresponding voltage was 1 volt. Now we have to plot this as we told I in the x axis and V in the y axis. Now you see here you get a straight line graph. So when the graph is a straight line, you can say that it exactly obeys Ohm's law and such type of resistor is called as an ohmic resistor. And in any case, if the graph would have been a curved line, then definitely it shows that that's a failure of Ohm's law and that resistor is termed as non-ohmic resistor.